Hello and welcome to Time Series Forecasting. In this video, I'm going to show you an example in R and walk you through to the whole algorithm of uh, using simple exponential smoothing uh, to use uh, these alpha parameters and the initial levels. In this example, I'm going to use the example of oil uh, production in millions of ton in Saudi Arabia starting from 1965 until 2013. And as I said earlier, you can um, either estimate the initial level and alpha parameter manually or you can use the algorithm to minimize uh, sum of square residuals and estimate the value of uh, the initial level and alpha parameter. So we are going to use this data set and the function SES and then I'm going to use the oil data as my first argument and then the forecasting horizon. And I'm interested in forecasting uh, for the next five periods. We can look at uh, the summary of this function and see we have uh, estimated uh, two parameters here. So we have the alpha parameter which is 0 0.83 and then we have uh, initial state or we call L0 which is equal to 446.58. Now keep this in mind because here we had a kind of a chicken egg problem where we needed LT to estimate alpha and alpha to estimate uh, LT. Therefore, we needed initial uh, state so that we can start this algorithm somehow. Okay, so here we are. So our data is starting in 1996. And here uh, we have our original value of yt and then our forecasted value of uh, yt. And our forecast depend here on the value of uh, the state here. So what we did here was we started this algorithm by assigning a certain value of L0. You can assign this value manually. That is, you can experiment with different values and then check which value gives you the minimum of uh, sum of square residuals or minimize the sum of square residuals as I showed you in the previous slide to get this value. So essentially, this value is attained using the same algorithm. So we say that this value is minimizing the sum of square residuals. So this is L0 and this value will help us start this algorithm. Now, we're going to use this algorithm and say that in 1996, our forecast is that this value will be equal to whatever our level was in the previous period. This was our level in the previous period. Next, we need the level for uh, this period, 1996. And we said that our level is equal to 0 0.83, that is the value of alpha, multiplied by yt, the current time period value, plus 1 minus alpha 0 0.83, multiplied by the level. And this will give you this value. Now, let's go to the next time period, t2. Our forecast for this time period will be whatever was the level in the previous period, so the level in the previous period was 446.56. So we have our forecast for period 2 here. Now we need to estimate uh, level for uh, uh, this um, time period, T2. We're going to use the same equation, 0 0.83 multiplied by this plus 1 minus 0 0.83 multiplied by this level. And this will give you 451.93. And this will be your forecast for the next period. So we're going to keep uh, repeating this algorithm until the final time period. So we'll reach here and uh, here we're going to do the same thing. Here we're going to multiply alpha 0 0.83 with this plus 1 minus alpha and multiply it with uh, 5.4 and uh, this will give us this value 442.68 and now this will be our prediction for the next time period for 2014. And uh, because we do not have uh, observations for 2015, 16, 17 and 18, so our forecast will be pretty constant. That is, we're going to use uh, this value observed in uh, 2013 as yt for the next time period. So our forecast will be constant number because essentially we are going to repeat uh, the same values to forecast for the next time periods. We are going to use 542.34 and 542.68 and this will give us uh, 542.68 as our predictions for the next four time periods. So this is a way of uh, 
using this algorithm to forecast. Now let's go back to our example in R. This algorithm gave us uh, alpha parameter 0.83. We prefer to use alpha 0.1 or 0.2 that this giving us a large value of alpha which means uh, a large adjustment is required in this parameter from time to time. As we can see here, it started with the 446 and then it is dropping uh, quickly. But we prefer that uh, this alpha parameter is closer to zero. That is, uh, the change over time should be smaller. So what we can do is we can manually assign the value of alpha 0.1 here and uh, save the results and uh, then compare this result with the uh, the result that we got with the estimated alpha of uh, 0.83. So let's go ahead and uh, look at uh, the results here. Okay, so this black line is our original data points and uh, this is our fitted line with the alpha 0.83. Now if we assign the value of alpha 0.1, we'll get uh, a pretty smooth line as shown by this uh, red line and again our forecasts based on our estimated alpha 0.83 and our initial state is a constant number as i showed you earlier it's 542.68 this is how you use simple exponential smoothing and we are primarily interested in this alpha parameter which controls how much weight we want to assign to each uh, past observations and essentially the value of alpha is always between 0 and 1 the closer alpha is to 0 the less weight we are assigning to the most recent observations and uh, closer alpha is to 1 more weight is assigned to the most recent observations so the main thing to remember here is that uh, this method is used for a time series which do not show any clear trend or seasonality and then we control for the weights using this alpha parameter and essentially you can also test for the accuracy of the model using the accuracy function and um, you can also plot uh, these results and get the confidence interval. So this was uh, the simple exponential smoothing. Alright, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.